Good evening, I'm Samantha Heathwood. A Milmerin man has been left shattered after his home and takeaway store burnt to the ground, destroying everything in the early hours of this morning. Two firefighters were treated at hospital for smoke inhalation. Almost a year to the day since a wall of water swept through the city, local businesses are still up in arms over Council's failure to prevent future flooding. They claim the flood memorial will only impede the flow of water further and the best way to pay respects is to fix the town's drainage problems. A vital recovery service which assists 400 flood affected families in the Lockyer Valley will be forced to cease next week. On January 13, the locally founded charity Hannah's Foundation will regrettably withdraw its peer support and donation distribution services due to a lack of funding. Via the foundation, $65,000 was distributed to Queensland families last year, with a further $8,000 received by Lockyer victims. Grantham residents say they're saddened by the news and are urging anyone who can help with donations to call the number. Stay with us. Coming up on Win News, personal trainers run off their feet with a stampede of fitness fanatics and local teens tell their own comic book story. PlayStation, Facebook and MSN may be up there with teens' favourite pastimes, but turning the pages of a good old-fashioned comic book is still as popular as ever. And a group of Western Downs teens has discovered publishing your own is even better. Sports next with Pat O'Shane. Can the Cavaliers win the Web Shield this season? Well, they're perfectly placed, Sam, and we'll have more details on that after the... Thank you, Magic. And that wraps up our sport for tonight. Back to you, Sam. Thanks, Pat. Coming up on Win News, Peter Burns in to tell us what the Mercury's heading up to. And Wayne Gordon has the fishing report. Thanks, Wayne. Join us tomorrow night for the best hour of news in the country from 6pm. From all the team, have a great night. Good night.